Martin here. I was not convinced by Gragas top lane in the past. You can see it working decently against the Rumble, but you need the gang pressure. So we'll need to see Diamond Puck show up in Cabochard's lane. It's definitely something I want to look out for. Comes in to look for Young Buck part two. No button. flash, that's gotta be it. And in an explosion of the barrel, Cabochard picks up and his blood. That was due to really good lane control by Cabochard. He pushed in the lane. Let it bounce back. Young Buck couldn't do anything but farm his creeps, and he saw that wave move away from him. Then Diamond Punk's coming in with the return gang. Young Buck probably should have played a little more careful. Flash pulverize here from Unlimited. Yeah, he's pushing his luck just a little bit, and it's gonna force a couple of flashes as Airwax comes in. Parallel Convergence dodged away. Airwax will manage to pick up one and look for Gosu Pepper, but he's only gonna be able to make a dent in his armor as he has to back away from the minion wave. Yeah, one to one here, but the most important piece is in a good spot. He's a carry top laner there, and they're diving Gosu here. They are diving Gosu Unlimited. He throws down the Unbreakable Will, but what? I don't think he should have stayed that long. Goes to Pepper, will get him with the help of a tower. And what the hell were the Copenhagen Wolves thinking? Well, this is yeah, he throws down the Equalizer just to clear the wave, but he could still be in some trouble. Looks for Diamond oh. Prox, who's tanking. Actually, it was Kabushar tanking the tower aggro. In comes the Flash, the barrel. Kabushar now, he gets turned back around. There's the big barrel to push him back, but now it's Kabushar, who's in some danger as Airwalks has sensed a moment of weakness. Gragas trying to get hidden in the brush, but that won't be enough. He gets the body slam. He tries to find Young Buck, but he just doesn't have the damage. And at the end of the day, that's a much needed gold in the pocket of Young Buck. I don't know, Kev. Very, very solo rumble in time under power. Yeah, losing here. He definitely can't 1v2, whatever you might say of him, as Young Buck will get the kill. So what started out there, because Soren has taken a ride, on the Emperor's Divide, and Betsy will find him isolated. In comes the kill. A Cathian surprise, however, Betsy is stunned up, and he's gonna go down. Airwax takes a bat to his head. All in all, still work for the Wolves because they get killed. But they lose two top towers and their teleport at the same time. Sloppy sloppy game. Bot tower goes down too. Wolves are dissuaded from walking into the brush with the parallel convergence. Finds Airwax and it comes unlimited as well as he gets pinballed up, down, around. And in comes Freeze to try and pick up a kill for himself. Gotta be careful. Unlimited he stays alive for now. Meanwhile, Soren back to defend the mid, but the soldiers... Limited. Does he want to go for the combo? He might regret this one, but Airwax is the one who gets pulled in. It's a 2v3 right now. The damage is flying. The convergence doesn't land. Diamond Prox targeting out Airwax as he jumps himself back to four seconds ago. Freeze providing some cover fire as Unlimited burns down. Forgiven will be able to snipe him down with a rocket. Copenhagen Wolves with the aggression. Gambit with the... Kabashart still poking away at this tower. They will secure it. Betsy secure. Yes, he is. They might have cut off Young Buck. He's surrounded by foes with nowhere to go. Puts on the flame spitter, burns out, and burns down. Goodbye. Yeah, and this is what I said before Copenhagen. Quickly, but Unlimited's coming in to try and make the play. In comes Airwax, and it looks like they might have been able to find some damage as he dashes back. Chrono Break for the escape. Young Buck is still down. Diamond Prox finally gets taken down. Forgiven, however, is going to be able to pick up Unlimited, and the Wolves are scattered to the winds as Cobble Shark blows up Freeze. Airwax and Soren on the run, throwing down some cover fire, but as before, Young Buck is just blown up. Forgiven. Hack another kill onto his board. Fade the wolves in, punish them, and now got to repeat Baron. Baron for Gambit. Yeah, they'll have some time to be able to use it as Betsy goes ahead and shuts down Airwax, pincering him into the big bell. Seen this before. It hasn't worked for a while for you, Kabashard, but now that's completely changed. They focus a lot of attention on Young Buck in the early game. Yes, he just kind of fumbling around in their jungle, trying to get a bit of vision back. And You're doing a two-man like... Baron with 80 carry and support. Yeah. Should we gave him? It's a bit greedy, but... With your mid laner in base, with your jungler on dragon, and your top laner punished. on bottom. This is working out so far, Krepo. Wolves have got the fear put in him, and Gosu Pepper, he is very tanky, though his armor is showing some wear here. He might go half have to back after that. Gambit can get anything else as they continue to poke away. Fancy footwork to dodge away from Freeze and Soren. Forgiving, a little close for comfort there, buddy. You gotta get back to base after something like that. And now the chase is on, Copenhagen Wolves. In comes Kabushard, he turns around, throws the barrel, a limited low, in comes the equalizer, but will it equalize this team fight? I don't think so. Azir, he's gonna pop his ultimate down, and Airwax burning away, has to run out of his own base. Kabushard now chasing on the cow. Finally, they crack the inhibitor line and Forgiven. He didn't back to base after all, he stayed, and he finished it off in the top. Two inhibitors down now for Gambit. You'll have to make a move. When is that gonna be? Crawling comes out. 
Valkyrie comes back. Pepper gets poked here. Oh, Pepper gets poked very low, and he could be in danger of going down and limited. Looks to dive on him, but Forgiven covers the line. Cabo Shard, meanwhile, is able to take down the bottom inhibitor again. This will prompt Gambit to open it up in the middle. While everyone was preoccupied, they are poking away to finish this one off. Unlimited and Freeze still trying to hold the line up top. Maybe they can find a pick on Pepper. They do. It's going to well, go to Freeze. Well, reactive flash from Forgiven, though. He sees Unlimited flash in. Dodge the head, but the Airwax goes in. Whoa! Goes back in time. There's... You didn't know where he was four seconds ago. Right there. There's a Chrono Break. And Cabo Shard belly slams, flashes, throws the barrel. We see more action in the last five seconds, their last ten seconds, than we have in the last ten minutes as Diamond Frox looks to keep on pushing right now. Death timers as high as they are. Goes through Pepper and Soren both down, but Super Here's Minions Cabo. Hard. Cabo is coming in, and Freeze might be going out. He's blown up, and now Cabo Shard turns his attention to Airwax as the rest of Gambit look to finally polish off this game. Cabo smash, smash, Freeze gets one, two, three shot right there. Betsy with the Emperor's Divide. Finally, the ace for Gambit Gaming. And after 47 minutes, they start knocking on the Nexus. No one there to stop them. The Nexus is going to be bare. There it is. It took them 47 and a half minutes. But Gambit Gaming are finally on the board with a win in week three. Their first victory in this split. But sloppy. Very, very sloppy. And it took a long time to finish that one off. But they did have a plan, and they did execute it. And you were right. You set a long game. 47 minute game, and neither team got to the third dragon. I don't think I've seen that happen many times It kind of got forgotten. It was, it was all about the Baron and continuing to keep on pushing now. The Wolves, hard fought. They tried to dig deep, but in the end, they just were unable to do anything. And as you mentioned, they did seem very hesitant to fight it out. That's something you've got to question. Taking a look at that game in retrospect going forward for your next games and tomorrow into the next week. And it's it's always very hard to be in that position once you're locked into your base because you always ask yourself, what am I going to do right now? You know? What is the escape? You don't see an answer. And the reason is because you've already made the mistakes two minutes in the past. It's the signature reply to a one three one. If you get locked into every lane, pushed in, pressured, and you don't have to